اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم هو الذی خلق لکم ما فی الارض جمیعا ثم استوا الى السماء فسواهن سبع سماوات وهو بكل شيء علیم ویورز I have recited the verse of Holy Quran <coughs> in which Allah Almighty is saying it is he who created for you all that is in earth then turn his will to heaven and fashion it into seven humans for he is all knowing of all things viewers Allah Almighty has created this universe and whatever is in this universe, all that is also created by Allah Almighty. From very first day, after the creation of this universe, Allah Almighty has sent His prophets and messengers just to spread His true message into the mankind and to convey the message of Allah Almighty and to introduce the monotheism. the oneness of Allah and aware about what is the polytheism. All messengers, all prophets spread this message very effectively. After spreading this message, Allah Almighty sent His directions to his messengers and prophets to tell or to deliver into the mankind that there are two paths. One is the path of Allah and the second path is for Satan. The person who will follow the path of Allah, that path will lead to heaven. And the person who will follow the path of Saturn, that path will lead him to hell. Allah Almighty has aware the mankind through his messengers and prophets. Inna halayna wa sabila, imma shakira wa imma kafura. Allah Almighty has given us two paths and also introduced each and every path, a right and wrong path and the consequences of every path. If you will run or walk or follow this path, the consequence will be that If we will follow that path, the consequences will be that. Allah Almighty has conveyed His message through His Prophet, Prophets and Messenger to the mankind that if you will follow the wrong path, you will go into the hell. If you will follow the right path, you will go into the heaven. Allah Almighty loves too much with His creation, with His creatures, especially mankind, human beings. Allah Almighty is telling us the ways to save ourselves from hell. And Allah Almighty is also spreading before us the ways that lead to heaven. This is the scale of love of Allah Almighty with his mankind. Allah Almighty is trying his best to save the mankind from hell and Allah Almighty is providing us the paths, the directions, the ways 
get the right path that path leads to heaven this was the message of allah almighty to each and every prophet and messenger to preach to spread to propagate to convey my message to the mankind just to save them from hell from fire this is the love of allah almighty with his creations with his creatures mankind humanism but the man deliberately the man is being astrayed deliberately he is adopting the wrong path deliberately each and every person of us knows what's right and wrong because allah almighty had instilled the common sense into our mind that commands and directs us and discriminate the true and false the right and wrong the good and bad but having the knowledge we are not adopting the right path then we will be punished but in this holy verse allah almighty is counting his bounties that it is he who created for you all that is in the earth allah almighty has created whatever is in this earth for mankind for human beings allah almighty is counting is this blessing that whatever is in this world whatever is in this universe whatever is on this earth i have created for you o oh man i have created for you and then turn his will to heaven and fashion it into seven humans and allah almighty is seeing that i have also created seven skies seven heavens for you and i have fashioned it and for his he is all knowing of all things allah almighty is the knower of each and everything but ever is in this earth allah almighty is seeing in the relevancy of the verse كيف تكفرون بالله وكنتم اماتا فاحياكم ثم يميتكم ثم يحييكم ثم الى ترجعون how can you deny allah and you were dead and he gave you life then he will cause you to die then again restore you to life and unto him you will be returned therefore neither you your life nor your death is in your will allah almighty is telling us you are nothing you are dead i gave you birth i created you and then you will die after specific period in this world and then allah almighty will restore your life allah almighty is saying your birth and death is not on your own will but how you can 
live your life freely in this earth. Your birth and death is not in your hand, not as according to your will. You don't know when you die. 